Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm just gonna um share with your with um you all about a challenge that me and my family um did. We actually started the challenge May first. And the challenge will be for six months. And then November the first is our founder um our founder at the end of our six months we made be November the first. And we did a weight loss challenge, a family weight loss challenge. Me, my daughter, my husband, and my son. My son was a little adamant about doing it. He caught on at the end, at me about a week later, but anyway, he still joined us as a family. But we were just doing it just to, just to have something between us to do as a family, just to see what we can accomplish together. And um, I'm not going to tell everybody weight, but I don't mind sharing mine. But I can tell you a span of weight. My husband weighed the less. His goal was to get about, which he didn't even need that much, but he, you know, how men's are. I think his goal was to get like um, 30 pounds off or something like that. My son, he was almost close to my daughter. And me, I was the heaviest. I'm gonna tell you why I started. I started three eleven, and that's where I started. Cause I had lost weight, then I had picked it back up. You know, you know, going back and forth. I was doing good. Um, the time that we had the um, the, the going through the coronavirus, and then all at once I started doing bad. Then I picked up. The, but my main goal is I need to get up and start moving. So what I did was, I said, okay, and I, and what the challenge was about was, we all had to put in $150. So that makes $600 for all four of us. And whoever lost the most, where the, the highest percentage, my daughter did all the rules. And her rules were something else. You yeah, couldn't do this. You couldn't cheat and get on the scale. And you, before it's time, and oh, she had that rules going. You couldn't. Fast and you couldn't do fake diets and you, you know what I mean it makes sense, but whoever lost the highest percentage is the one that wins. Okay, so you know, the small, the less you weigh, then the percentage of what you weigh is greater for you to lose. I mean, for you to win. So my husband had the better advantage of. <laughs> Of winning, and then my my son and my daughter right behind each other, and like to me, I would have to lose more weight, way more than them, in order for to beat this challenge. But I went on because it was a family challenge. So I said, okay, we'll do it together. I, you know, I love a challenge in a way. But anyway, throughout time, I had been but well, before we started, me and my daughter had you know was doing it back and forth. I was just trying to basically just try to watch what I eat and everything. So actually, I, I was um. I was um just losing it real slow. So I went that three I asked for three forty four point eight. And before I got up to we started that challenge, then I was at three eleven. So you see how much I lost at that time. And um but that was just, you know, just just trying to make a little change and stuff. Well, nothing major. We won't try and do nothing major. Just trying to, you know, just trying to, you know, do a little better. But anyway, let me get to it, because, you know, this sitting sit talk, so I, I, you know, sitting talk, I try to be too long. But anyway, so what we did was we went on our channel, we, you, you, you know, you get a coordinate, you know, to get the weight off. So my husband walking up the drive, walking up the drive, I walk up the drive one day, we're going to walk up the everything. So we're going to run, well, the first way in, my husband lost 23 pounds. Oh my God, he lost 23 pounds on the first way in. Yes, yes, the first way he lost 23 pounds. And then I forgot me and my daughter, my son, my son, he, he gained weight. And um, I forgot, I think I lost like um, 13 pounds, 15 pounds. I think, no, 13 pounds. 17, I lost 17 pounds. Yeah, I think that was 16 or 17. And my daughter right behind, we were right together almost. So, you know, it's the starting. So then the next month, we gained weight. <laughs> and 
so on. So then we almost off the jail. It was just, it was just so much fun. So my husband had the bragging rights. Oh, I'm gonna get this six hundred dollars. I'm telling y'all right now, y'all think y'all gonna win in this race, but I'm gonna win in this. I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna get this. Y'all ready to give me that money? Y'all ready to give me that money? And we was all fair and game. They don't let that daughter and all of us yeah, yeah, I'm be the one. I'm be the one. My daughter, she's saying the same thing. My son, he didn't say much or nothing, but anyway, my husband, he just had that brand of rights. He told us how much he know he was gonna win, and especially this on the 20 pound. Oh, he went out of town with it. I mean, he was going on and on and on. So, um, <laughs> so then, um, well, I'm going to bring you all the way up to, I'll probably go back forward to the, almost to the family way. So then I said, okay, I'm going to watch them jokers because I know everybody got different type of habits and what you like to eat and what you don't like, you know, what you do and do your daily basis. So he got to a point that they had started getting, you know, like slow, and I did too, cause it was like it's you are in the house, you can't really do much of nothing. Most people gain weight and hawk and they can't get along because you know you could fan almost. So we did good, and I saw them. They was doing them cots, and them chips were coming, and Caitlin was ordering hers offline, and our chips was coming. So I said I got to fool them. So I said, how in the world I'm fooling? I had the most weight to lose in order to get to their percentage. So I think at that time, I think my husband's percentage was high because he had gained, lost him and gained a little bit. But his percentage was the highest of weight loss. He had, had lost him. He had the highest percentage of weight loss. So then I said, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. It's getting down to the nitty gritty. We was at the last month, which was October. And we let, we weigh in, the, which we supposed to weigh in the day, but we weighed in yesterday because my son threw in the towel. I'll tell you that much. He just forfeited. Okay, so forfeited, you don't worry about no more. So then me and my husband and my daughter. So Caitlin said, I said, well, I see how they're doing everything. So I said, I'm going to act like I'm doing like them. So I would eat some stuff. You know. But I said, I, I saw their hat. Their hat was getting worse and worse. And they was they'll go back and forth. Me and my husband go out and walk a little while. They stay out in the yard and everything. So I said, this is the last week, which was the last Monday. I said, I got to do strict. So Mon I ain't do real strict because I still ate a few things. From Monday all the way up to Saturday morning when we did our family way found the way in. Um, I said, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna eat the same thing, but I'm just gonna watch the sodium and do you know different stuff like that. Cause see, I'm doing mukbangs. And it's not easy to lose weight doing mukbangs. So the weight I went from three eleven from three forty four point eight to three eleven is good. And then I went from that to where I'm at now. So, um, <laughs> so then anyway, so then time for us to win. So I said, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, I'm going to try to get my 10,000 steps in a day. And I'm going to try to move a little bit more. So I said, okay, I see it was eating all, my husband, all them cookies and uh, I was getting him stuff that in the back room. I said, oh, you want to So then he said, he said, he, like, he want a pork chop, I want a friend of pork chop, he want fried chicken, I want fried I wasn't eating because I'm not a, I'm not a, I eat some fried food like on Sunday. Sometimes I might eat some fried chicken wings or something like that, but I don't, I don't eat a lot. I might eat fried chicken or something fried maybe once a week or once every so many weeks because it's on a Sunday meal most of the time or even maybe on a Saturday, you know, on a weekend we eat together. But anyway, <laughs> so then I said, um, cause I didn't know where nobody was at. Nobody knew how much, I didn't know what they weigh. You know, I don't know, he could be eating this, but he could not be eating, you know, just calories in, calories out. So he could be depleting calories and, you know, putting in calories. So it, it, you don't know until you get on the scale. So then we, so then, yes, this, then on Saturday morning, they just passed. They, um, the um the 31st, um, we all, my husband at home, we were all get rid of weight. So my husband weighed first. <laughs> my husband. He started out 23 pounds first weight first month. He fell away in. He was 13 pounds heavier than when he started out. He gained 13 pounds through the whole six months. His percentage was 0 0.2. My daughter forfeited like my son did because she knew she already gained weight because she didn't want to get on scales. So she just went on forfeited like my son did. And she said, I'm not going to get on scale. I'm just going to forfeit. I said, all right, it is. All I got to do is beat my husband. I got on the scale. From three eleven 
I was 289.4. I want to win. <laughs> My percent was 7.9%. Or 7, yeah, I think it was 7.9%. Even if she had gotten to see my son, I, we already knew my son had lost my weight. He was just he was just going town. And Caitlin, she did get on stage later that day because she she gonna start a new phase of her life that we gonna pick up from where we left off and be serious in 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 trying to get it off. Not no major weight loss, but you know as time go back, just trying to continue to get it off a little at a time and learn how you know. Well, I already know how to eat, right? I already know all this stuff. But I just would do mukbangs, and we also would do mukbangs. That's my only meal for that day, and I try to calculate the calories. So if I'm just eating this, and I might have a meal replacement later or some, but my thing is to throw that junk food away. I can do the calories. And move and get the weight off. But my thing is, is I gotta get rid of all this, all them extra calories. Other than that, when you see me eat on my mukbang, those are they, they are one meal a day. That's really why I be so hungry because, and it's not because I'm trying to lose weight to do it. It's the fact that that's just how I've been doing. I'm not a morning person to eat, but that's how I do. So anyway, so when I weighed in, I end up losing um, eight or nine, ninety. I end up losing, I think, it was twenty two pounds. All together, within all the month bands y'all seen. Look back from January. Look back from July the eighth when I started this this um, channel, all the way up to now. That's you will see what I was eating, but I managed to still lose twenty two pounds in what I was eating. Um, because if they had it done right, I would have lose at least about eight or ninety pounds, maybe a hundred to beat my husband, and he could have only less lost about. 30 pounds or 35 pounds because it's a percentage of where he started from. And, um, but I wanted to challenge and, I, and it just motivated us more to do more. Me and, me and Caitlin gonna continue to go on. And, um, my husband said, do you think you're going to win now, honey? He goes, are you going to me all that stuff out your room? I said, yeah, all right. And you were eating all that other stuff. So you can't blame it on me. You got to blame it on yourself. So, <laughs> so. I'm going to continue to go on and continue to do what I'm doing. And if and I don't care if he put three or four pounds a month. I don't care if it's five pounds a month. Whatever it may be. And I'm going to continue to give y'all updates on this. And right now, even on this video, I, it's, it's going to be some attachments for this video. That, is going to, at the, um, that I'm going to show y'all on this video. It's going to be some attachments of when I first started. How I looked and the size. And the size I am today. And everything, so I'm gonna show y'all the different, you know, different pictures and everything. But that's not my goal. My goal is to go all the way and get all the weight off all together. And um, and I know I can do it. I can do it. If you can just take time, I can do it. Because what I want to do, I don't want to go on no fade diet. I don't want to go on no, I can't have this and I can't have that. I'm going to take this, I'm going to take that out. I want to eat accordingly. So then I know how to eat right throughout life. If I have a special event and I say, oh, oh I can't have no carbs, I can't have no cake, I can't have that. No, if I want a piece of cake, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to have a slow weight weight, uh, weight loss, but I'm going to continue to move up. I'm going to make good changes now. Now, when y'all see me eat, I already told y'all, when you see me eat eggs and all that stuff, they egg beaters. When you see me eat an omelet, it's turkey sausage. It's, it's white wheat bread, <laughs> you know? When you see me eat, now you might see us eat our family breakfast, and I may have some bacon, but if I have some bacon, it's going to be low-sodium bacon, but it's still turkey sausage that I'm eating. And I may have a biscuit and some apples and stuff like that, but through it all, I count my calories, and that's my main meal for the day. And, the, uh, and uh, after that, I may have some like a meal replacement, or I might have a bowl of cereal, a bowl of egg, if you don't have any eggs. Or you take the yolk out. Most of them I have boiled eggs, take the yolk out. But um, I really want to get to my goal, no matter how long it takes. But I want to share this with y'all because um, I just did a song sit and talk today, and I want to share with y'all uh, what I was doing, and I had not been taping. It wasn't that I didn't want to eat. I could have taped what I was eating. It was my my son in the process of buying a house, and I was trying to help him like, you know, on the internet and find a house, you know, different stuff like that. But um. And some other things I got sidetracked with. But I'm going to update my, my journey of how I lost weight 
while doing mukbangs. And y'all gonna see how I'm eating, but my goal is to move more. So I'm gonna do more. If I had already previous told y'all this, but now I'm gonna kick it in. And it's gonna be a weekly or a every, either once a week or once every other week weigh in that I'm going to show y'all where I am now or whenever I'm going to update on my challenge, I mean, not a challenge, where I am now in my journey. So, you know, it's it's, it's, it's going to be something to think about how I lost weight while doing monk things and y'all watch me do it. And it's going to be some time it's not going to be real healthy. I might have lasagna and when I make lasagna, I make it the right way. It might be time I have spaghetti, garlic, but you know I love broccoli. I'm a broccoli freak. So, you know what I'm saying? You mean eat a lot of broccoli. But I'm still going to eat other things, but I'm going to count my calories. It's not that you can't have it all. It's the fact you got to do it in moderation. So I probably flip, flap, flip, flap. Y'all just watch me. Watch what I eat that week. And then watch when I do my update. And then you see where I'm at. And when I do do the weigh-in, I will video the weigh-in so you'll know it's me on that scale. And it's not nobody else. Whew. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. And it was all about family. It was all, it was all about togetherness. And I really enjoyed it. I just loved it when my husband just bragged, bragged, bragged. He was so happy. He was so happy. And he wasn't even happy enough to give up that money. But anyway, <laughs> thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later.